All right, scoring there in fantasy football. How about scoring on the field in the preseason? We've seen an uptick in scoring. There have been 12 teams to score 28 or more points in a game so far this preseason. That's twice the total of last season through week two. Here to break that down for us, we move from fantasy football to now the betting side of it. It's our betting analyst, Doug Kazarian on SportsCenter. What has Vegas' reaction been so far to this sort of outburst of scoring we've seen in the preseason? It feels like the first few rounds of a heavyweight boxing bout. Cautious, just trying to feel each other out because they see the scoring and they also see the penalties, just like all of us football fans have seen these sort of player protection penalties. And how does that manifest itself? Well, it extends drives, and then also ultimately defensive players are a little reluctant to make a play. So they've seen the increased scoring, and also just over the last two preseasons, you see it up six and a half points, and that's a significant amount in terms of scoring and then how that affects the over-under. So the first week, 11 of the 16 games went over the total, and we're starting to see that more and more. Now, odds makers are reluctant to react, so there's been more bets on the over, and in 25 games so far in this preseason, they, there's been 38 using the helmet penalties. So odds makers don't want to react overnight, but we saw this about a decade ago with all the protection for quarterbacks, and games started flying over early on in the season. So they've been down this road, so they're very concerned, but also cautious. They want to overreact. Heavyweight bout, chess match. I mean, there really is an act and react mm -hmm. aspect to this. Absolutely. On, certainly on the Vegas side. So uh, we have seven preseason games today. You've had a little bit of time to look at the slate. What's jumped out to you? We've tracked this all throughout the preseason. We've talked about it here on SportsCenter, Randy. And we see the, how the Sharps and the professional betters will move the lines. Well, we've seen an over-under move. So after week one to week two, the odds makers reacted and sort of juiced up the over-under in the Raiders game at 42 and a half. That's what it opened. But betters are very stubborn. They trust their power ratings. They don't overreact to one week of games. So that's been bet down to 39. Now, the average sports fan may see, oh, three and a half points, what's that? But that's a lot, especially in preseason football. A, it's almost basically 10% of a total because it was 38 and a half, so it was four points. But also, just think about the preseason. There's basically, we never see a tie in the fourth quarter, right? It's always going for two. So those three and a half points are significant. And we talk about it all the time, whether it be bad beats or whatnot. Sure. Games, games are decided by a half point or one point and two points in the total. So that three and a half is significant. But everyone's sort of pumping the brakes and saying, let's see this play out. Let's see these penalties. He's using the helmet penalty, see what happens. Um, but it's a very much a we're figuring out as we go along. I think to get away from the betting just for a moment for two Raider fans yes. here on set to yes. see the Raiders <laughs> back in the L.A. Coliseum, that's the team that we fell in love with. So we're going to nerd out. L.A. native grew up going there. He has a better claim than I do. I was just trying to tick my dad off. There's Doug Kazarian on SportsCenter. <laughs>